Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Let's start today off with something <laughs> highly amusing, shall we say. Because uh, this afternoon I'm going to have a little bit more of a serious video because we're going to talk about Frank Miller. Uh, but this is, uh, this is uh, <laughs> just a perfect story of, of instant regret. And just everything about this is, is, well, we'll get into it, but it's pretty damn hilarious. So, uh, Kadokawa's president uh, has reportedly stated manga is rarely reviewed by Apple and Google due to its sexy time content and may need to be censored. <laughs> Now, uh, as you can see from this image here, you know, they got some some rather uh, buxom wenches uh, in their anime stuff, which we've all seen. Let's just be honest. Uh, we've all seen, etc. And I think part of this was in in uh, a move to, to potentially push towards a, a Western audience. So they would have to, to tone stuff down because, you know, you know what they're like over here, folks. They're censoring crazy over here. Uh, Takashi Natsuno, Kadokawa's corporation's president, as of June 22nd. So the guy has literally just got his job a month ago. <laughs> he's had this job for just about a month and he's calling for uh, censorship uh, for some Western pandering. Uh, he recently spoke in an interview with a video streaming website. The interview was with current and former Japanese uh, gravu idols. Uh, you know, Japanese idols, attractive young ladies um, who would, you know, dress up skimpily. I don't think idols go naked, but I think, you know, they, they dress provocatively, shall we say. Uh, involved in photo shoots in swimsuits, etc., and how they came into the industry. In the article, Natsuno discusses his stance on idols, along with how Japan is full of manga that are more extreme than swimsuit Japanese idols. Even so, he briefly mentions about needing to recreate standards that are appropriate for this internet age well i mean uh i i i would say uh who the fuck do you think you are uh to to lay that down as law what how who are you to say what is appropriate and what is inappropriate surely what is appropriate resides within the confines of the law you know nobody's asking for some illegal stuff and then it goes down to personal taste. So if anything's legal, you know, hey, no kink shaming and all that kind of stuff. The fact is there are people who have miraculously beautiful figures. And there are those people who think there is value in that. Well, there is value in that. And there's money to be made. Well, there is money to be made in that, you know? Sex sells is one of marketing's, well, it used to be anyway, uh, number one rules regardless of what you're selling that's what it does you put attractive people into advertising you put attractive people into tv and film people want to see attractive people up there they don't want to see slobs like me <laughs> they want to see the beautiful people i don't think it's fair to say that this is unfair no, I don't think it's fair to say it's unfair. I agree. <laughs> and I don't think the argument about whether idols is good or bad is valid. Correct. Because it's a matter of personal taste. It sits within the law. Absolutely fine. So it's up to the, the individual to decide. On the other hand, Japan is full of manga that are more extreme than the swimsuit idols. The publishing industry that I'm in is full of liberal people. But I feel that we need to recreate standards that are appropriate for this internet age, including such things. 
So you're okay with with idols dressing exceedingly provocatively, um, but uh, you're not okay with anime drawn product of babeges, naked babeges, naked vagina, because you have appointed yourself by the looks of it um the the uh, head of sensorial ship for these products get, get out of here get this fucking out of here full of liberal people well i mean you know there are liberal people here but i mean this is just this is just too much it's not up to you to decide it's again a personal decision as long as everything is falling in with the confines of the law and I expect it is because you are a business, then there is up to the individual as to what they want. And if there is demand for it, which there clearly is, people want it. So censoring it is only going to have a detrimental effect on your product. That's just logic. Ay, ay, ay. However, in the video interview, Natsuno mentioned more specific information. The video transcript comes via a manga critic and someone else, okay? Uh, and a couple of Twitter users here. Japan is full of manga that's full, uh, which is more extreme than the idols. This is, uh, this and other factors prevent Japanese manga from being reviewed by Google and Apple. So I feel we need to redefine the standards of the internet age and determine what is acceptable for the public and what is not. Whoa! Whoa! Again, self-appointed censorship. The publishing industry I'm in is full of libertarians, but I'm re but I really feel like we need to rethink things. So he wants censorship so that Google and Amazon, uh, sorry, Google and Apple uh, can review their anime, their their manga, whatever it may be, uh, and, and push it towards a more sensorial Western audience. The, West, the Western audience is going to the source in Japan right now for what they want, you know. They're not going to buy the, the censored shit that comes through. You censor that shit, and then they're just going to go off and... <laughs> they're just going to get another company. Anywho, anywho, folks. You get the drift. You get the drift of what this guy's trying to do. And this was on the, the 25th of July. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> instant karma, instant regret. Kadokawa has apologized for their pair of their president's comments suggesting manga would need to censor sexy scenes to be approved by Apple and Google reviews. So the, the company itself has turned around and gone, screw our president, <laughs> him. We're sorry, we're not gonna change. Uh, so they put out a statement on July 21st, Takeshi Natsuno, president and representative director of Kadokawa, appeared on a program. He participated in the program in his personal capacity. So good, good distancing there. However, as the president and CEO of the company, it was very inappropriate and he deeply regrets it. In addition, the series of statements he made in the program were not related to our business operation policy. You know that censoring stuff that he wants to do? We ain't doing it. That's not how we as Kadokawa feel as a corporation. We're not going to be pandering. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. They say, they say it themselves, so we'll get to it. Uh, the series of comments made... Uh, by the person in question in the program have no relevance to the business operation policy of the company. We take this matter very seriously. Let's scroll this up. Uh, we take this matter very seriously and have received a request 
from the person in question to return a portion of his compensation wages which we have accepted <laughs> he's getting his wages docked we would like to inform you of the following subject an amount to be returned by takeshi natsuno president and representative director 20 percent of the monthly remuneration for directors 20 percent of his salary his director's salary and that will be applicable for three months from august to october so for three months he will have 20 percent of his wages docked for daring to say uh, that i feel we need to to censor our product we at the company will take the opinions we have received from you very seriously and we will make every effort to ensure that all writers and creators as well as readers and users will be able to enjoy their work we will continue to promote our business by paying close attention to our authors and creators as well as our readers and users thank you for your continued support of Kadokawa. so essentially we won't be censoring our product for a western audience uh there's something that's mentioned in another article that they essentially say that as well uh they won't be censoring their product for a western audience they have docked their president uh 20 of his wages for three months for even saying that uh apparently of course he was the one who offered it as as a <laughs> a sign of penance i guess and uh your 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 babeges and vagina are safe in the hands of Kadakawa. i hope you enjoyed the video if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links they're in the description box down below i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now